Hey, hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. It's been two weeks. I took last Friday off because of the switch over. I needed time to clean everything out and get organized and I did and it feels good. Although I've already made a mess again. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. All right, I hope you guys are having a good day. It is um, hot here. It's gonna be very hot this weekend. So hot, in fact, that Texas is worried about the the grid again. Yeah, you know, I can handle no electricity in the winter, but not when it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> that I cannot handle. So hopefully that that doesn't happen, hopefully. But yeah, it feels like summer. Summer is here, unfortunately for us. I know that up there, up north, you guys are still having like cold days and some snow in some places. That's so weird to me. I can't even fathom that. But lucky you. My oldest daughter is actually getting ready to go on a three-week, I don't know, backpacking trip in the um, up in Minnesota, which I know I have a lot of customers that live in Minnesota. The border water, border waters, is that what they call them? The water between the United States and Canada right on the edge. She's going to do like some kayaking, some climbing, some camping. I don't know what she's going to do, but she's worried about being cold. <laughs> Texas girls, we don't handle the cold very well. All right. Well, today we are doing three projects with the Sweet Songbirds, which is all the way over here. This is one of the stamp sets that we could pre-order um, demonstrators before the catalog went live. And it is super cute. I had several people ask me if I was going to do Facebook Friday with this. And uh, so I was like, absolutely, because I really, really like it. It's really cute. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Before we start, I want to run through a couple of things. Um, in case you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, <laughs> this is our new catalog. It went live on uh, Tuesday. And um, some of you have emailed me asking me when your catalog is arriving. And I only sent them to people who requested them. I sent a uh, request form to everybody who had ordered with me in the last year. And um, because sometimes you get three catalogs, you know, like you have three demonstrators you order from and all, you know, that's, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to waste, you know, it cost about $7 to mail this. So that's why I asked, do you want a catalog? Do you need a catalog? And if you say yes, I am more than happy to send it to you. But if you don't tell me, if you didn't fill out that request form, then uh, I didn't send it. So just know. Now, if you did request it and you still haven't gotten a catalog, let me know. Um, I would assume they're all arrived, but maybe not. Um, you know how the UPS or USPS system is. You never know. Um, but if you need one, please reach out. There is a request form on my blog. Um, under at the very top, you click shop and it drops down. And one of the requests is, or one of the little things says request a catalog. Okay. Okay. So that is that. Um, we have a new um, all star tutorial bundle and I have not sent it out. I've only sent it out to my subscribers. If you spend $50 with me in May, you're gonna get this. And it features the flower, fl I can never say that word, flowering fields, flowering fields, sweet from the spring mini catalog. There are 12 tutorials in here, um, all featuring that sweet. So I am one of 12 demonstrators as that's part of this group. So I only did one, the other 11 are from other demonstrators, which is kind of nice because you get kind of a different style from everybody. Um, mine is a throwback. Let's see. Can you guys see up there? You probably can't see right up there. Nope, you can't see. So right up there, there is a project I made, I don't know, like eight years ago. It was a long time ago. And it's a big crate of flowers. And I was like, you know what? We should do that with a with the tulips. So this month's tutorial features a little mini crate of tulips. Um, that one up there is really big. I was like, that's a little bit too big. So I simplified it, made it smaller. And this is what my project in here is. Um, it's like a little, like a little desk piece. It's, it's not a card. It doesn't fold up. Although 
Maybe you could, I don't know. I, I didn't plan it that way, but it's to sit kind of out on a desk or a shelf or something. Um, I It says, let today be the start of something new. You know, you could put whatever. So anyway, if you're interested in that, um, I will send this to you for free when you order $50 or more online with me. Um, I do it about once a week. I will do it this afternoon um, for everybody who has ordered since the first. Um, it's also available in my PDF store. So if you're a demonstrator or you already have a demonstrator and you don't want to order from me, totally fine. It's available in my PDF store for $15. And they're all video tutorials. Um, they have, the PDF has links to the videos as well as supplies, a supply list and a measurement list um, in both Imperial and metric. Okay. So that is that you will find a tab at the top of my store, top of my store, top of my blog that says PDF store. Um, so you can find it in there. You have to, it's alphabetical. There's like 200 PDFs in there now. So you have to scroll down to the F's and you'll find it. Okay. So, okay. So when I look up here on my phone, I don't see comments, but I look down and I'm seeing you guys are here. Good. Um, so Karen says I'm freezing up. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, the replay usually works that out, hopefully. Um, all right, what else? Pepper came in and jumped on me during that, and I ignored her, and now she's over there staring at me like, hello, I, I was here to say hello, and you didn't talk to me. Um, Club Create, it's a mess. Let me fix it. Um, I've already started working on Club Create. You can see right there. Tomorrow, May 7th, is the very last day to subscribe to this month's Club Create. It's $39. It includes, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, uh, four cards and a box and it all they all feature the cup of tea bundle um, you're going to get about $20 in product that $39 uh, also includes shipping the products are consumable you'll use most of them or you'll use all of them on your projects and then have a bunch left over to make more things um, the deadline for that is tomorrow then on the 8th which is Sunday the subscription opens for my next club create kit which will be june's kit and let me show you it is the he's all that i can't i can't remember i keep wanting to say he's the man he's all that and this is a fun fold class fun fold cards and this month in june june's kit is actually going to have six projects they're all fun folds all right, so it's the man, the man suite. I had a lot of requests for this too. Um, here is the stamp set and the bundle. It'll look like that. Now, now, if you're already subscribed, you don't have to do anything. You are in club. You will continue to be in club until you cancel. If you want this kit, don't, no, okay, let me rephrase that. If you are not a subscriber and you want this kit, don't sign up until the 8th. Because if you sign up now or tomorrow, you will be getting the cup of tea kit first. All right. So my subscription period goes from the 8th into the 7th. So for that one, it would be May 8th to June 7th. So that, that's the, the window where you can subscribe. Okay. So there is that. Oh, I want to show you. I have one card to show you. And Margaret is my, in my downline. And she makes the most beautiful cards. Um, I think I've showed you guys her cards before. I absolutely love this. This is that um, host set that was in the last annual catalog. And I love that you guys know I love pink and black. Um, isn't it beautiful? She, look inside too. She um, spares no detail. I love it. Very beautiful, Anne Margaret. Thank you so much. I always get excited when I see her cards in the mail. Um, did you guys see that we have new merch? Did you guys join me on Wednesday for my unboxing? My husband came home. He was like, I saw you on Facebook unboxing. What is that? <laughs> like, don't worry about it. You don't know. But he he was confused. I said, it's, I have to share all my goodies. You, you don't care about them. I have to share them with everybody else. But anyway, I talked about this. Um, we have some merch, as my kids call it, some merch, Stampin' Up! merchandise. They're calling it... Uh, branded products they all um, you know have the logo they have these new travel mugs one in each of the end colors and so I got Tahitian Tide um, 
And the other one I almost really, I really almost got two, but like I need another mug, right? <laughs> um, I thought, okay, we'll just have one, one new mug. Um, the Tahish, no, the Parakeet Party is really pretty, that green, um, which I, in my mind, that wasn't my, I, I would think Sweet Sorbet would be the one that I went to, but nope. I went for that one. So if you're interested in that or you know somebody who would appreciate a gift like that, they are in the store. You just click, um, you know, you know, at the top of the store where you click like categories or whatever and it cut or no, no, you don't even have to click. It's right there. Stamps, paper, blah, blah, blah. and it says branded. I think branded merchandise It's right in the middle, right in the middle. Okay, has anybody checked my blog? Oh, Kath, Katie says, thank you. Club Crate is fantastic. I have really enjoyed the last month, few months since I joined. I am so happy to hear that, Katie. It's I always tell you guys, it's the biggest thing that I do, Club Create. Um, it is. It takes me an entire week to prep and ship those kits. Um, I start way early so that I don't feel stressed. Like you can see, I've already started cutting card bases. Um, but it's kind of like my baby. It's my labor of love. And I, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Um, it Club Create also comes with a PDF and a video. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that. All right. So blog post, um, my summer tumbler, Bonnie. Yep. For the lake. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Carla got the starry sky for home and sweet sorbet for work. Very smart, Carla. Very smart. One for home, one for work. All right, so if you guys go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, uh, today's projects will be there. There's a PDF at the bottom, hopefully. If somebody will go check my links and make sure everything is there and working. Um, the PDF has the measurements and um, the supply list. And then I really didn't have much to tell you today because I don't have a class open right now. Um, but there's information on those two things I talked about too. Oh, you know what I meant to print out? I made the cutest graphic for the starter kit. The starter kit, you guys, during May is a fantastic deal. The starter kit is $99 and you pick out $125 in product. During May, you're also going to get an in-color kit. Let's see if I can remember off the top of my head. Ink pads, cardstock, grid paper. What's the other thing? DSP, is there something else? It's like $60 worth of stuff on top of the $125 of worth of stuff. I've had about, I don't know, I've had a bunch of people jump and, and take that offer in the last couple of days. So if you're interested in that, um, please click the link at the top of my blog that says, um, what does it say, join? I think, I think that's what it says. And then you can read through all the details. Then you'll get your 20% discount for the next few months or instant income, it, depending on if you're buying it for yourself or if you're buying it or if you're selling it. Um, and let me know if you have questions about that, okay? All right, so let's see. I'm just making sure. Ink, so it's ink, right? Didn't I say that? Ink, cardstock, DSP, grid paper. I made the cutest graphic with that information and I forgot to print it out. Um, I'm not seeing anybody telling me they checked my blog. Um, so I'm guessing no one's telling me it's not working, so that's good. Um, boop, 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 boop. All right, well, oh, you guys are so sweet. I missed some really nice comments. Terry says, Club Green is worth every penny, all caps. So she was, she means it. Thanks, Terry. Um, I have a couple of the, this month's, um, uh, what do you call this paper pumpkin? I have a couple extras if you need one. They're beautiful this month. Um, it comes with a melon mambo spot and a stamp set and all the beautiful projects. Okay. Um, next month, which is actually this month, uh, it'll be the in color. There will be an in color paper pumpkin, and they're gonna have um golden tickets or something in in some of them where you where you win like a twenty five dollar gift certificate. So make sure you subscribed to get that. <sighs> I'm feeling kind of blah, like my energy. I don't know where it is today. I need a nap. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, Christine says, I just celebrated another six month anniversary with Club Create and I just saw your 
um, product credit that you requested. I printed it out this morning. After six months, you get a product credit of $25 to add to your kit. All right, last week's winners of, not last week, two weeks ago. Um, if you share the video, you're entered to win. So the la last two weeks ago's winners are Christina Meyer and Kelly Sharp. I have your stamp sets. Um, I think, Kelly, I might have your mailing address. Christina, I don't think I have yours. But if you guys would message me, that way I don't have to hunt it down or send it to the wrong place because I do that sometimes. This week I have brand new product, full of love stamps. And I love that stamp set. So, so cute. I think this is the one that Sarah Douglas, our CEO, said was one of her favorites too. Really cute. So... All you have to do is share on Facebook or YouTube, and then I'll pick two winners next week. Next week, we're doing the cherries. I have made one card over there in the corner. I don't think you can see it. Um, same time, same place, 2 o'clock next Friday. Now, the PDF isn't on my blog. Thank you, Joanne. Finally, someone told me. Okay, I was like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I, I linked it. Does it go anywhere? Let's see. Okay, let me pull it up so that you guys have it. Um, sweet songbirds. Oh, the post didn't go live. That's what is happening. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit publish. You know, it's funny. You have to hit publish <laughs> for it to go up. Thank you for telling me. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, let's see. Now, is it there? Let's see. Refresh. And there it is. Yay. It was ready. It just was waiting for me to follow through and do what I was supposed to do. Let's see. Is the PDF there? Yes. Okay. Good. Check. That means we can get started. Um, so, Sweet Songbirds. Raise your hand if you ordered Sweet Songbirds. I bet a bunch of you have it already. Um, we're going to make three projects. Um, if you like the projects, you'd like for me to send them to you for free. I will be happy to do that with an order between now and Monday at midnight. We have a new host code, um, and it's, it's on the PDF. When I flip the camera around, you'll see it, and it's over on my blog. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get stamping rewards, and I'll still send you these for free. Um, they look like this. You will need the punch and the stamps. I do not do any pre-stamping. I do send you a little thank you tag. But, but that's it. And then you'll get the make and takes. I, I have a strict cutoff Monday night at midnight or by the time I wake up on Tuesday morning. Um, and then the first thing I do Tuesday morning is print that list and I start cutting and packing these and I ship them on Wednesday. It's a pretty fast turnaround. Some of you order every week and you know that it's going to arrive in your mailbox on Saturday morning and you'll email me like, I didn't get it. And I, sometimes I'm late. Sometimes I'm one day late because I'm like short on cardstock or something, but you guys are cute. I am a stickler with schedules and I make sure they go out on Wednesday, sometimes the latest on Thursday, but nine times out of 10, it's Wednesday. So uh, you get those for free as a thank you from me if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight. Okay, I'm going to cover you guys up. I'm going to switch you over. Um, so I tried the new software, the streaming software. I was going to do it on Wednesday for my unboxing. And you guys, it was terrible. There was echo. It wasn't working. So I didn't do it. So I talked to my friend Ange. And she's going to, uh, we're going to do a little FaceTime. She's going to walk me through it. We're going to see what I was doing wrong. And so maybe next week... Maybe next week we'll have it. Maybe. We'll see if I can if I can do the fancy software. Okay, very first card. I the funny thing is, remember two weeks ago when we had Facebook Friday, and I told you guys that I, I did all the new in colors, and I was like, well, I didn't really use Starry Sky or Orchid Oasis because I guess maybe they're not my favorites. Well, everything I've made since then has used one of those colors. I love those colors a lot. So today we're using Starry Sky. Um, this stamp set has a lot of stamps. Look, I had to make a separate basket for all the stamps today. There is a ton of stamps in this set, which is really fun. So I'm gonna make, we're gonna make a little scene on the inside too. I just think, you know, you've got all these cute little stamps. Let's use them. So let's do our bird first. And 
this is a builder punch, okay? And I'm gonna show you the best way. The punch has the bird and then the wing and then the beak. And I thought this was a wing, but I realized after I made all my projects that it's not the wing, it's this part right here. Uh-huh, I mean, right? It is. So I, oh yeah, see there's one for there. So, but you know what? We're gonna use it for a wing <laughs> and he's gonna look like he's flying. So just to let you know, I, it's his belly, it's not his wing, but whatever, it works as a wing too. So you've got that. That's so if you wanna do like car, a cardstock bird, you can do different colors. But for stamping, you know, when you have a builder punch that has a lot of things that punch, you're going to waste paper and it's going to, you know, it's going to be hard if you stamp them all separately. So the idea with the builder punch is that you put them all on this, a block together. So the way I recommend to do this is punch it from a scrap piece of cardstock and then get all the stamps that you're going to use, which we're going to use these two, the bird and the little wing. And then take your block and pick them up. Okay, so they're in that vicinity of where you, you know, you're gonna punch, and it's gonna make punching it out so much easier. All right, I really liked Daffodil Delight. You did the same thing, Carla. Yeah, I know. I mean, literally, I've made five projects, and I realized it was the belly on the fifth one while I was making the fifth one. Um, I like Daffodil Delight, Daffodil Delight with the Starry Skies. So that's what I decided. We're going to do Daffodil Delight. When you uh, stamp, you want to look at your orientation too. So your paper's going to go in like this. So you want your bird down here at the bottom. And I have found that the bird is just kind of like slanted up just a little bit. All right, so stamp that and then get your punch. And... Punch them out. Oh, oh, it slipped. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can we save it? Can we save it? No, we cannot. Let's do it again. Did you see that? It totally slipped on me. All right, that's why I have a big piece of cardstock today. All right, let's see. I was just playing around with the cherry punch. And uh, these, these punches can be a little... Um, Hard, you know, like if you have arthritis or, you know, some kind of, you know, I had um, tennis elbow for a long time and it bothered me. Um, you can put your punch down like this and put your paper in like that and push down like this um, if you can't do that, that grip. I was having trouble today with it um, and I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so we have two eye choices for our little bird. We have like the open eyes. And we have the, like, I guess, closed eyes. So this little guy, he's going to have open eyes. <laughs> and we're going to take his little wing. Let me get all my adhesive out. And we're going to put that right there. You know, some, something is weird with this sheet of many dimensionals. It will not stick when I first put it down on the ink. But then it does. I don't know. It's a very old package I found at the bottom of my drawer because I'm out. Um, all right, now I'm gonna punch out that little tiny beak right there out of polished pink. And we will get our, um, oh, well, good. I'm glad you guys like that tip. Yeah, because those punches are great, but they're also hard. And I know my daughter has, when she was doing this, she's pinched herself. And I have actually done that before too. So. Sitting it down on the table and pushing down on like down on it like that sometimes can alleviate any of those problems that you might be having. All right, so we've got that. Now let's stamp the little nest. And Elaine, last week or Wednesday, I was we were talking about fussy cutting the the nest, or was it last week? I don't know. We're gonna fussy cut the nest, but don't worry, it's very easy. Soft suede, basic white, and then get your scissors and just go around the edge. Gosh, my paper looks like it's been chewed up by a cat. 
I don't have a cat. I have a dog. I have three dogs, unfortunately. <laughs> three dogs. All right, now I've got a scalloped um, stitch scallop rectangle from the um, contour scallop dies. And we're gonna put that little nest here, but let's stamp his feet. And we've got feet that walk two different ways. So you kind of have to see which way your bird is going. And our bird, these feet would be wrong. He, his, that would be weird. So we're gonna use the right feet. So let's do, I think I'll just use soft suede since it's open. I'm going to stamp those little feet right there and then put that nest right there and we'll put him right there. It kind of looks like maybe he's floating above the nest. Maybe I should put that nest a little bit higher. All right, right there. Now there is a really cute, something looks weird. It looks like he's frowning. He's a frowny bird. There we go, that's better. <laughs> he looked like he was frowning. There's a really cute stamp in here that I love. It's the music notes. I think it's so clever. Let's see if I can find the music notes. Did I already get them out? I did, they're right here. Um, there's several sentiments in here. And the one that I like that goes really well with this is a little note of thanks. But I'm gonna use the music notes on every project because I just think it's cute. All right, now I've also cut out a little um, polished pink. Why does he look, he looks like he, maybe he's just coming in for a landing. <laughs> he's just coming in for a landing. That's what, we're not gonna redo it. We're just gonna leave him. Um, polished pink little flower. This is from the hydrangea dyes. There's a little strip of dyes in there that will cut out a bunch of flowers at once. So I use that and I'm gonna put a little pearl there in the center. And then I've got this little tiny stitched banner, which is from the new Stylish Shape dies. Love, 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 love those. Um, and it's like the perfect little size right here for the welcome. Now, if you need to change the sentiment, you can. Nothing says you have to use the sentiment. All right. And we'll put some mini dimensionals. Let's see, are they gonna stick? Yeah, it's just the ink side that they weren't sticking on. Right there. Okay, so now let's bring over these other pieces that we have. I've got um, three and three fours by five. <laughs> and then I've got two and a half by four and three fourths and three fourths by four and three fourths. Now. If you didn't keep up with all that, don't worry. It's all on the PDF. Just go over to my blog, scroll down, and there's a little icon that says, click here for the PDF. You can print it, save it, shred it. I don't care, <laughs> whatever you wanna do with it. But it's got all that information on it for you. All right, some dimensionals there. This would be a cute little baby card, wouldn't it? Welcome. All right, and then we've got a Starry Sky um, card base. And I usually like to put the fold of my cards at the top, but we're gonna tie twine around this edge. So I needed the fold to be on that edge. So that's why that is there. Okay, so there's that. Now, inside, let me see if I can remember what I did inside. Oh yes, okay. Inside, we're gonna stamp the branch. Comes with a branch, perfect. In soft suede. And then we're gonna stamp the other feet. Remember, I said our bird would look really weird if he was walking backwards but facing forward. So here are the feet that go with this bird. She's gonna be standing there on the branch and she's the other bird, the little bird the little other bird. She doesn't fit with a punch, so we're just gonna stamp her flat. Like that, okay? Um, I have a little flower for her as well, if I haven't lost it. Let's put a little flower in her hair, or her feathers. Okay, 
let's flip that over, flip that over. Come on. And we'll put that right there. Then let's get those music notes again. Where did they go? Music notes. There's so many stamps on my desk right now. Um, we're gonna do these in Memento. I need to just leave this open. I need to give her some eyes too. Okay, and the eyes. Like, mm, like that. There, she's so cute. And then the second part of the sentiment says, so happy you're here. Okay, let's see if I can get it straight. Make sure I inked that pretty good. All right, now, I don't like that beak, so I think I'm gonna cut out a beak. It looks like my ink kind of bled down there into that spot, so. Let's just add, let's give her a little hot pink beak. Hi, everybody. Um, Denise, have I used the new magnetic platform? I have used it a ton and it is fabulous. It is fantastic. In fact, I have it right here. You can see it is, um, it has a self healing mat on the top. So it's gonna leave all that, but it is not curled. It is heavy and there is no way it's gonna curl. And it holds, oh, it holds the dies in place beautifully. So I highly recommend the new magnetic cutting plate. The, the one for the mini will be out soon. It's not available yet, but from what I understand, it's coming. It is coming soon. I think it's probably just some supply chain issues, you know? Apparently there's still some boats sitting out in the ocean, some train cars sitting on the tracks. They can't get all the things that they need to get to where they need to go. Okay, there we go, card number one. Now, if you wanna change the colors, you could totally change up the colors, right? I mean, the possibilities here are endless. Um, I wanted to, again, use new colors. I love when we get new colors. I just feel like it freshens everything up and everything looks different. Okay, so there's that. Let me clean up a little bit and we're gonna make the next one. The next one is a fun fold card. Um, let's see, where do I wanna put these? I'll put these right here. And we need this to go right here. And I need to get like a little bowl to put all my dimensional backings in because they're always everywhere. But do you think I would remember to put them in the bowl as I was working? Probably not, because I just like flick them as I go. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys like it, thank you. Does a magnetic plate only work on the new machine? Um, Lori, no, you're talking about the old machine? I'm sure it would work there too. It's all about the plates and the sandwiches. So I don't know what the sandwich would be. Um, but yeah, it totally it's the same size as that plate. So yeah, I think so. All right, next we have a fun fold card. And this, I saw this card on um, Pinterest and then I started seeing it everywhere. Um, I saw Terry Gaines make it. I don't know if she's the originator, but she um, is the one that I watched to make. So we're gonna make this. This is a great card, um, like display. You know, sometimes people wanna set out your cards and this one will totally sit up and be pretty. And I put a gift card holder in it because you know, this would be a great Mother's Day card too. I didn't make anything specific for Mother's Day, but that would be perfect for Mother's Day. Okay, let's um, get started. What do we wanna do first? Let's make the whole card first. Now this one has a lot of measurements, which you will find on that PDF over there on my blog. All right, um, it's free. <laughs> you can just have it and keep it, print it, do whatever you want. Okay, let's see if my measurements are right today. All right, let's see. You're gonna need a piece of Daffodil Delight. That is five and a half by 11. We're gonna score the long side at one and three fourths, three and a half, five and a fourth, and seven. And that's it, okay? Then you wanna grab your bone folder. 
And we're just gonna burnish those lines so it'll be nice and crisp. I'm using also today the Perfectly Penciled Designer Series paper, which is the black paper. We used it last Facebook Friday too, I think, didn't we? And um, I'm gonna mix these patterns. And then I had a little moment of a little thought bubble that popped up. And I said, let's color the edges here. Uh, or let's color the flowers here. And we're gonna put a gift card in the middle. So I'm just gonna do the ones around the edge. Um, so Lisa's asking, what are your Mother's Day plans, you guys? My Mother's Day plans are not terribly exciting. We are driving up to Waco tomorrow to move my oldest out of the dorm. Did it, didn't we just move her in like three weeks ago? It feels like it. I mean, first of all, where are we gonna put all her junk? You know, and second of all, Oh, it's gonna be so hot, you guys. It's the hottest weekend so far, and it's 100 degrees. It's gonna be 100 degrees. But the boyfriend is going up with us, and he so he's gonna do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> um, she's actually not coming home. She is leaving, I told you guys at the beginning, on a three-week backpacking, camping, hiking, I don't know, trip with the school, it's actually a, counts for six hours of credit or something. Um, so she's very excited about that. Um, she'll be back at the beginning of June. But as far as Mother's Day, we're just gonna go over to my mom's. I've ordered a catered lunch so that neither of us has to cook. And I don't know, do you guys watch Kelly and Ryan? They uh, did something today where they interviewed them uh, their kids to see, well, not right. You know, they were doing a, a thing that who knows their mom best. And when they asked Kelly what she wanted for Mother's Day, she said, peace and quiet. And I laughed because that is always what I say <laughs> for Mother's Day. That's all I want to do. I just want to do nothing. And I just want to like lay around and nobody asked me to do anything. And I always feel kind of guilty when I say that, but she said it and I was like, all right, I'm not the only one. Do you guys feel that way? I kind of feel that way, yeah. All right, so for the gift card holder, it's really simple. It's just a piece of black and a piece of DSP. And I'm just gonna punch a little circle out of the top, put a little bit of adhesive on the three straight sides and make a pocket. It has gone super fast, right? Um, Becky, are you cold? It's raining. You know, I, I am so jealous of those of you that are posting pictures of the rain. I keep seeing everybody posting pictures of the rain. We are so behind in rain. And it, it, keep, it keeps like, oh, we're going to get rain today. And then it rains like a tenth of an inch if we're lucky. Our lake is only 20% full right now, which is awful. So... I know, right? It's like we never have what we want. You either want it to be cold when it's hot or you want it to be hot when it's cold. <sighs> I know, I hear you. All right, for this part that folds out, it, this is a piece of polished pink five by three and three fourths. And we're just gonna score it at two and a half. And then you're gonna fold it like a card, but it's gonna open backwards because we're gonna adhere it Let's see if I can remember how I did it. Where's my, okay, we're gonna hear, adhere it to the front and then to the back of that one right there. Where's my other one? I wanna make sure that's right. Yeah, yeah, okay, for some reason that seemed wrong. So if you've got Stamp and Seal Plus, that will work here. I'm gonna use Stamp and Seal, which I think will be fine too. Um, but I put it here like centered, right here where that gift card holder is. And then I'm gonna close that and then close that. And now it's perfectly centered. All right, see that? Easy. You know, I feel guilty calling it a fun fold when it's so easy. All right, now I gotta get my grid paper and we're gonna stamp, I've got two stitched rectangles, okay? That's what we're gonna use for our little scene, our little bird scene. We need to punch 
We need to stamp one of our birds again. And again, Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna do that right there. And get our punch. Um, yes, Terry, if you are in club and you wanna add on the He's the Man bundle, yes, I pay the shipping um, on that, so yes. Um, but that's not until the end of May. But yes, you are correct. You will save money that way. Okay, um, let me see. What are we doing with this bird? Okay, we're going to have him have these little closed eyes. And let me show you something, you guys. When I first stamped this stamp, I stamped it like that. But I think it's supposed to be like that. That makes him look happier. So I'm going to stamp his eyes like that. Okay. I'm small difference, but I when I stamped it, I thought that doesn't look right. And so I looked in the catalog and that's how they have it. Um, you guys, I'm going to turn up the fan in here. If it starts shaking the camera, please tell me. I'm just dying already. Ugh. Okay, so we'll put his little wing. Eastern Oregon, and we usually have nice weather by now, but not this year. You can't wait for vacation. So, Becky, is it cold? Is it cold in Eastern Oregon? Oh, I know. Cold, cold weather's not fun, but neither is nonstop heat. Hot, muggy, humid heat. 80s to 90s is pleasant. I'm talking 100 with... 100% humidity. It's just not fun. It's, you know, in the summer, I always say that my kids played outside all year long, except for the summer, because after about noon, from like noon to like 8 p.m., it is scorching and it's miserable to be outside. So, you know, I guess we all have the weather that is bad at some point. All right, now, Let's stamp our branch. We're gonna do it twice. We're gonna stamp one right about there. And then we're gonna stamp the other a little bit higher like that. Okay. And then let's get our little feet. Let's see, make sure I have the right feet right here. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to stamp no, I did this wrong. Okay, hold on. This goes with the other guy. This guy, he's going to use that weird funky wing that's not a wing. Where did I put it? Is it in here? And it's going to make him look like he's flying. Is this it? No, it's right here. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I should have put this on the block when we punched it earlier, but I did not. So we're going to do it right now. We're going to stamp that belly <laughs> twice and then we're going to punch them out and we're going to put them on him and he is going to look like he is flying the flying the coop all right let me punch this out there we go now let's get him and let's put his um, Harriet, yes, Arizona has very similar weather to where we are, except you, your humidity isn't terrible, right, in Arizona? God, Laurie, oh, Laurie's here too. No humidity, right. Yeah, I, that humidity is what kills you. It is, it's rough. All right. I don't know what is up with these dimensionals. Let's use, um, a little bit of glue and let me show you what the bird looks like when you use the wrong stamp for his wings look <laughs> doesn't he look like he's gonna that feels like it's sticking out too far like that doesn't it look like he's gonna take off or he's landing I love it so funny all right so there we've got that um let's stamp our leaves um, this stamp has, I mean, uh, the set has the leaves and they line up right there at the end of the branch, which is perfect right there. And watch this. If you take your stamp and just turn it and stamp it again, you're going to get some lighter, whoops, you're going to get some lighter leaves too. So let me do that over here. Let's do it like that. Just so that you have some like, 
you know, some variation. Then grab that little flower and let's add some spring blossoms to our tree like that and like that. Okay, now this little bird, where is the other little bird? Right here, is gonna be sitting in the nest, okay? So we need to stamp him, where's our nest? We need to kind of eyeball it. The nest sits there on the branch, so he needs to be about right there, okay? And then we'll put him like that. He's in the nest. He's welcoming the other bird. <laughs> I mean, it's a thing. I've made a whole little story, apparently. All right, let's see. I need to, I covered up that flower, so let's add, let's add a couple more flowers. It's like telling a story with your birds, right? A cute little story. All right, he needs eyes, and we're going to give him the open eyes, like that. And that little wing right there is his, that goes there. And then what else? We need the sentiments, okay? The sayings, the words. And we're gonna use, where is it? A little bird told me down here that it's your special day right up here. Like that. All right, did I forget anything? Oh yeah, we need to give him a flower in there. One of, their, one of them needs a flower. So let's put a little flower right here. Same flower, hydrangea dye. Set it right there. And, oh, oh, hold on. Oh no, there we go. Now we've got glue. So cute. So very cute. All right, let's move all of this. And let's put this on our card. Dimensionals, of course. So we're gonna put this one right here. I um, made this pink piece for these stitched rectangles. I wanted it to frame them. So it's the perfect size for those stitched rectangles. Hello from Arizona, another person from Arizona. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. All right, and this little bird, he kind of looks like a baby, little baby bird right there. And then I have a couple more, a couple more little, little flowers to go right here, just to kind of carry over that pink. Let's see right here. And we'll put that, whoops, pick that up, put that down, pick that up and put that down. And we'll get the pearls. And we'll put the pearls right there. And the pearls right there. And we'll go ahead and give her a pearl too. And, oh, it's stuck to my hand because I've got glue on my hand. Come on, stick, there we go. And there we go. So cute. So this could be Mother's Day. This could be birthday. This could be graduation, right? I mean, it's your special day. I, I didn't specify what kind of special day it was. So this is an any occasion card. Any kind of celebration, here's your card. And if it's too pink for you, change it to blue. And blue and yellow would be perfect for a guy. No bow, there's no bow. And take the flowers out and you're, you're good. So cute, right guys? So cute. Um, all those measurements again are on that PDF. Uh, it's a lot. I have a lot of measurements today, I don't know why. Um, let's see, where's my tray? Okay, we've got one more and it happens to feature the blueberry Kit Kats that I have been telling you guys about. You know, when I posted the Blueberry Kit Kats, I got a lot of, ew, that doesn't sound very good. Well, let me tell you right now that they are delicious. It is not chocolate like a normal Kit Kat. It is like a white chocolate. It's not chocolate, like vanilla, like a white, you know, like candy coating. I don't know. It's not chocolate. And it is delicious. 
okay? So y'all need to get on board with these <laughs> Blueberry Kit Kats. Um, I have been stalking the store. I had seen somewhere online that they were coming, these Blueberry Kit Kats. I found them um, at Walmart. And you know what? I'll just open one for you guys to see. And then that will be my little snack when we're done. So it's kind of blue, but look, it's not chocolate, right? It's like a, like a white, white candy with blueberry flavoring with wafers. And it's delicious. I promise. Unless you absolutely hate blueberry. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to just make these cute little bags and they are, they perfectly, they will perfectly hold two of these little Kit Kats. These Kit Kats are supposed to come in full size also, but I did not see the full size. I only saw the, those little mini ones. Sorry, gotta get a drink. Okay, let's get our Simply Scored. And this is, uh, again, Starry Sky. This is a piece from our In Color Designer Series paper pack. And it is five by six. And we're gonna score the long side at one and three fourths, two and three fourths, four and a half and five and a half, then turn it and score it at one. This is um, really a good way, if you've got a lot of DSP piling up, you can make a lot of these. You could get four of these from a 12 by 12 sheet. And um, if you have a six by six, sheet you'll get one but it's a kind of a good way to use up some of your paper if you're like oh i've got too much paper i can't order anymore we'll use it up and which side do we want to use the flowers or the stripes i think the flowers for the birds all right so down here you can oh i can't really see it right here here's the skinny tab we're going to cut that corner off and then or cut that entire little rectangle off and then cut the corners off of that. And then just snip, snip, snip. It is Teacher Appreciation Week, did you guys know? And this would be a great little teacher appreciation treat. It says a note of thanks. Put adhesive there on that end tab and fold it over and it'll line up. And then you've got kind of what looks like a box fold in the sides and the back and last fold in that front flap put some adhesive on it and fold it over and that's it really easy couple of little kit kats go in and you can you can either do it like that or you can do it like that which is the way i like to do it where you just kind of pinch in the sides now you're going to need a hole punch all right so punch a hole there at the top in the middle. And I have our glittered organdy ribbon. And I thought I brought my good scissors. Where are they? Here they are. And I'm gonna feed that through. I think I cut it too long because I'm not tying a bow. We're just gonna fold it in half. And Fold it in half, and then we're going to tie it together with this new Starry Sky metallic ribbon. <laughs> Vicki says, I didn't know I had so much DSP until I started organizing. Yes, Vicki, I can relate. However, DSP is my, that is my like weakness. I love DSP, and I can never have enough. I love it. When I was scrapbooking, um, a lot. We had scrapbook stores. That was my favorite thing to do is to go and walk the aisles and get new paper. All right. So see how I tied that together and then you can kind of pull it like that. But yeah, it can be overwhelming when you have a lot. It can be. Okay. So there's the little bag and I can't remember what the tag looks like. Oh yes. <laughs> I couldn't remember. We're gonna, um, again with our little bird, but this time we're switching colors and we're gonna do polished pink. Clean it really good with my chamois. And then we need 
paper right here and polished pink and let's do this at the bottom down here mm, let's do that again I don't like the way that stamped that's a little bit better looks like I need to re-ink my pad okay punch right here and you know that little black piece that we made at the beginning where you know your little template to line up your stamps just keep that in your stamp case so every time you have it you'll be able to line your stamps up really easily okay this little birdie is going to have the closed eyes because she's singing and we're going to get let's see why are my dimensionals constantly in the wrong place little dimensional and her wing oh you know what i did something different well i'm gonna leave this but look i punched her wing from cardstock you could also punch it from dsp which i think would be really cute but we'll just leave it since we already did it okay now where did my grid paper go Let's bring that back over here and we're gonna get soft suede and our branch. And we'll put that little branch down there at the bottom. I'm not gonna do the feet this time because this is a really small tag, but I am going to do the music notes. This time I'm gonna do the music notes in Starry Sky because the sentiment says a little note of thanks. So we definitely have to use those. Okay. And then we will take our little bird and some more dimensionals and put that right there like that. And then I had a really clever idea. <laughs> I'm going to take the cloud punch and make like a tree top, you know, like kind of like the tree behind her. I was pretty proud of myself when I came up with that. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have an idea and you're like, wow, that was a good idea. All right, we're gonna stamp, I'm gonna turn one that way and one that way, and we're gonna stamp the sentiment, a note, a little, what did it say? A little, no, that's not it. A little note of thanks. And you wanna put it down as far down as you can. Starry sky. And then more dimensionals <laughs> and we're going to just do like that and we'll put one here and put it that like that and now she's in the tree see how that happened and then guess what two more dimensionals right like that I mean we're not mailing this we don't need to worry about the dimension right and there you have it that's a really easy treat gift i think if you need to make a bunch of something this would be the way to go these are easy really really easy and you know like you have different patterns so if you're trying to use up your paper and they're not all going to be the same that's okay use different patterns it looks really cute and that my friends is it Let's look at what we made today. We made the fun fold, right? And where's the other one? We made the little starry sky card. And then day before yesterday, I showed Denise's card. Denise made my team's birthday cards this month. Aren't they so cute? She used that little um, flower embellishment that we have. I can't remember what it's called. It's like hard. And you know what's funny is we didn't even know the other one was doing this and I put a flower and she put a flower and we didn't even talk about it. Great minds think alike. All right, now Monday, I've got another card for you, which looks like it kind of came apart. Let me fix that. I've got a gift card, another gift card holder for you to, um, on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. There's the little sign. Um, this is does not look like it's centered. Something happened. I need to put more adhesive, I guess. This um, stamp, there was some discussion on, on Facebook about what this was. 
I was thinking maybe it was like a perch for the bird, but then someone said it was a sign and I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. So that's what I did here. And you can use this little thing right here to hold the sign, or it could even be down here, you know, like in the ground. I think I used all the stamps. I didn't use congratulations, but everything else I think we pretty much used. And now you have lots of ideas to use your sweet songbirds. Okay, you guys, what time is it? Woo, three o'clock, I did good this week. Remember, if you want these three right here, one, two, three, um, free, I will send them to you for free next week. Um, as a thank you, if you put in an order, $35 minimum by Monday at midnight, please use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I think that's just like an indication to me that you don't want the make and takes. If you forget to use the host code, just email me. Um, because I would love to send them to you if you want them. Okay, you guys, thank you. I appreciate it. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Becky says, you may have sold me on the set. Good, I'm glad. Sometimes you just have to play with a set. Uh, Peggy liked my cloud punch idea. I was very proud of myself when I did that. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you next Friday with sweet cherries. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Bye guys.